Uh, Botox injections are, of course, always um, associated with cosmetic procedures. We also use Botox injections uh, for the treatment of a number of different types of pain condition. In general, it's very effective where patients have muscle spasm, and for that reason, we use it a lot for the injection of trigger points and locally painful muscles, where the Botox allows the muscle to relax and give pain relief. The other very useful um, role of Botox in pain medicine um, is where it's used for the treatment of local nerve pain. I've used Botox for a wide number of different nerve pains, including trigeminal neuralgia, occipital neuralgia, ileoinguinal neuralgia, and cases where there's some local neuropathic pain affecting the skin. The Botox itself, um, the vials come as 100 units. If we open it up, you have a little vial of Botox. Looks as if it's empty, but if you actually look at the bottom, there's a little white ring where the Botox is. We make the Botox up usually um, with some local anaesthetic and then we may use different ways of injecting it. For instance, using very thin needles. Um, we may use cosmetic needles if there's a, an, a local area of hypersensitivity. And if we're injecting trigger points, um, we often use a nerve stimulator in order to stimulate the muscle so we can locate it as accurately as possible. In terms of the benefits and risks, the benefits of the Botox are pain relief. Uh, again, it takes about 10 to 14 days to work, up to three weeks. And the risks are the risks of all minimally invasive procedures, failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort. Um, and these are all relatively minor. One interesting thing with the Botox is that very occasionally, um, the Botox can cause an irritation of the muscle, which we call myositis. Um, it's a very rare problem. I've seen just three of those in about 12 years, um, and uh, that will settle um, after a few days.